here at the vet to pick up my dog, Max. Give me a second. So I wanted to talk to you guys, uh, make this quick little video about my dog. Um, I did a, little, a video last May talking about my French Bulldog having surgery. He had a tumor on the outside of his leg and then for almost a whole year, he just did outstanding. We didn't have any issues, any complications. That was his first you know, surgery and um, everything just went well. Well, about three weeks ago, roughly, I made another video saying that I had to rush him to the vet and I really didn't necessarily have to rush him I just noticed that he had a growth on the inside of his leg so then at that point I made the decision of course we needed to take him to the vet and get him checked out so we went to the vet initially because of how hot the the infection was or the the mass was they thought it was just an infection and they said okay well this happens, he, he may be allergic to something, he may have cut himself, you know, got dirt in it. There's a, a million different things that it could have been. So after that appointment, we put him on antibiotics, had a bunch of different things going on as far as medication goes. And he seemed to be getting a little bit better. Now, it didn't make a drastic change, but there was some change there. Well, then about 11, 12 days after that, he ended up we were sitting in the living room. I had just gotten off of work. I was working, I worked a day shift gig. And uh, I noticed that he was just laying there and he was panting really, really hard. And he hadn't gotten up to, to eat that day. He hadn't played, he hadn't been running or walking. He just was panting really, really hard. So I rushed him to the vet that day, like I called and they were about to close. They were able to see him and they gave him a bunch of shots, um, steroid shots and put him on more medication. And at that point said that you know, we needed to see how much this changed uh, his what ended up being a tumor, if any, to see if we can get him back to good health to, at that point, you know, do do surgery on him. So we're like, okay, that's fine. So they sent him home that night, said bring him back the next day. So I brought him back the next day. He was still refusing to eat and was just very lethargic. So took him back to the vet, back to the vet the next day. And they said, we're going to keep him overnight, put him on fluids. And they said, we want to keep him overnight again, you know, and, uh, and, and monitor him, see how, how much better he gets, if any, so that we can proceed with surgery. So I said, okay, well, the morning that I had that clay shoot that I made the video of, um, we got a phone call that he had passed away the night before. So he passed away around midnight. So on March 30th, you know, he passed, he was nine and a half years old. A little Frenchy, um, awesome, awesome little dog. I wanted to make this video just because when I was posting those videos, I had a lot of people email me or, or comment on the videos and everyone was very interested in, you know, how he was doing and interested in, in the fact that he was a Frenchie. You know, they're, I don't want to say they're rare dogs, but they're, they're not, you know, labs by any means. You don't just see them everywhere. So we had them for nine and a half years. Um, for a bulldog, that's actually pretty good. Um, bulldogs don't necessarily have that, that longer lifespan like other dogs do. So I think, and I might be wrong, but like for, for more normal dogs, every human, one human year is like seven dog years for bulldogs. It can be like one human year is like 10 or 12 dog years. So their life just, like I said, doesn't, isn't as long as other breeds, you know, the life uh, span isn't as long. So Obviously, we're upset about it. Didn't want to lose him by any means, but we we understood it. It happens, and we kind of were expecting it in a sense, just because of how bad he had gotten. We'd never had any issues with him before, so going from no issues to how lethargic he was being, it, it was somewhat expected. Even though we didn't want to necessarily believe that, so he had a tumor. I know it was infected. He had um, a bunch of other things going on. So we don't know the exact cause of death. Obviously, there was a bunch of contributing factors that that may have caused or, or you know, led to his death. So, yeah, um, he passed. So that, that's where we're at right now. My wife is pregnant right now. That was her dog. So I had an English bulldog who unfortunately passed away in 2016. And, uh, you know, that was that was my like my dog, I, I sold a motorcycle, 
so that I can buy that dog. Like I didn't have the money for that dog, but I was like, whatever I got to do, I'm going to make this happen. So I sold the motorcycle that I had at the time and I bought my English bulldog and she was my dog, you know, and even though obviously me and my wife were married and it was our dog, you know, she was ours. I, I called her my dog. She was my dog. And my wife said that she wanted a bulldog, but she didn't want an English bulldog. She wanted a French bulldog. And when I first saw those dogs, I was like, that dog is ugly. Like he looks like a little gremlin. Like he looked like, like Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. And it was just, I was like, whatever, if you want it, you can have it. Like that's a goofy looking dog. And we bought this dog and I swear that dog had the biggest personality. Like he was a, a kid in a, in a dog's body, you know, he didn't like playing like other dogs. He didn't want to play, you know, fetch or nothing like that, which I thought was weird, but we'd go to dog parks and all the other dogs would be running around and he would run to all the people and like have all the people pet him and say hi to him. And then he'd just run and sit there and just watch the other dogs play. Like, what are y'all doing? You know? And he was just that kind of dog. You know, he was a lap dog. He was there. They were bred to be companion dogs. And I mean, that's exactly what he was. He was a companion. You know, he would sit with me every day, all day. If I decided I wanted to be lazy and just lay in bed all day long, he would stay in bed with me all day long. You know, he wouldn't whine. He wouldn't fuss. If I wanted to go outside and run around a little bit, then he'd run outside for a little bit. And then he'd look at me like, okay, it's time to go back in, you know? So I went and picked him up earlier. Um, we did have him cremated. So I have a small box with all his ashes in it. We're going to have that here at the house. I have my English bulldog. Now we have him. So they'll be together. Um, I never understood why people got animals cremated when I was little. Well, when I, my situation was a little bit different. When I was little, my dad used to, he killed all of our animals, you know, like, oh, you know, this dog's getting old and they go out and they would shoot it. And that was the end of it. You know, we didn't do vet appointments or we didn't do checkups and all this other stuff that, that we do now, you know, so as we started getting our own dogs, you know, we'd have dogs pass and we would bury them and stuff. And I feel like with my dogs in the backyard, I still have my, my boxer who's about to be seven in June. And then of course my chocolate lab who I just got for Christmas. So she's around five and a half, almost six months. I don't want to bury a dog and then have them out there digging and all that stuff. So we have their ashes. We'll figure out what we're going to do with them later. If we're just going to keep them or if we want to spread them somewhere. So yeah, it is what it is. So I just wanted to update you guys on this video. I know this isn't a lot of content, a lot of stuff going on, but I wanted to make this to tell all you guys, thank you. Um, a lot of you, like I said, would hit me up and Hey man, I hope your dog gets better. And I hope this and I hope that. And it, it means a lot because Again, those those are like our kids, you know. So those of you dog people definitely will understand what I mean um, when I when I say it was it was tough, you know. So I guess that's it. So Max is no longer with us. I mean, he's with us physically. He's gonna be with us forever, but he's no longer here with us. But I got two other dogs that we gotta take care of, and we gotta make sure that they have everything that they need. Um, and we still got my little baby girl on the way, so. We're gonna have our hands full, so we'll stay busy in the meantime. So thank you guys for checking this video out. I know it's not the best news, but I wanted to update you guys. I, want, I like keeping you guys in the loop and uh, letting you guys know what's going on in my life. So I was gonna post this video actually on my new channel and I decided I didn't wanna like start that channel with sad news like this. So that's why this video is on this channel. But if you guys want to click the first link in the description, that is the link to my new channel. It's called Vlogging It All. And eventually, <laughs> we're going to move over to that channel and all of these vlog style videos talking to you guys about just daily stuff is all going to be on that channel. And then all my law enforcement, gun, tactical stuff, tactical talks every Friday will stay on this JLV86 channel. So thank you guys for checking out my channel. We'll see you on the next one.